Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Mega Man X4. We are down to our last two Maverick Robot Masters. Following the boss weakness leads us to Cyber Peacock. He lives in cyberspace and wants to destroy the network system. He wants to destroy your internets and take away your internet porn. We can't let him do that. Alright, so this... This stage sucks, because what it does is it introduces a mechanic that will forever piss off Mega Man players. And that is the grading system. As you can see, it said, hurry up! You are timed from the moment you start until you hit the end. If you do it within its first range, you get S rank. After that, it becomes A rank, B rank, etc. So, yeah. Yeah. The first, there's three parts here where you can get graded. The first one gave us the heart container. This one gives us the energy tank. Next gives us uh, an armor piece that I'm hopefully going to get and not screw up on, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to screw up on it. Because I only have two shots left with my attack. One shot left with my attack. Yeah, I've... I've kind of screwed this up. Because I don't have enough to get there quickly. Or do I? I haven't hit the hurry up yet. There we go. Aha! I did it! That was actually kind of close. I messed that up. But we get... The Helmet Upgrade! And this one pretty much breaks the game. Because when you have it, your regular special weapons no longer require energy. So... Just as an example, I have 48 shots with the Twin Slasher. I still have 48 shots with the Twin Slasher. The only time it takes up ammo is when you uh, use a charge shot, which we do not have the ability to do right now, because we don't have the X-Buster upgrade. So, the X-Buster upgrade when you charge up and use a fully charged shot with the special weapon still will re reduce ammo as normal. So, but everything else, kind of, kind of just there. This stage also has the mechanic of the green orbs. Like here. Actually, no, it's not this one. The next one. The green orbs have to pass through the purple barriers. They're the only things that can break the barriers. So you just walk forward, and yeah, it's not really difficult, and it's not as interesting as some of the other, like, gimmicks that change how the level works. And since we're in Area 2, our weapon energy has been refilled, so we have full weapon energy to fight the boss, as opposed to the fact that we used it all to get all of the upgrades. So... Potential is limitless! And I don't care about Cyber Peacock. Because it's one of those, if you die in cyberspace, you die for real. Like if you poop in your dreams, you poop for real. Uh, but he's obviously a maverick because he has the Sigma symbol, and he gets hit twice if you time it right with your soul body attack. 
He will teleport to where you are, or he'll teleport to either up in the air, on either le the left or right side. But even without the soul body, he's kind of a kind of a pushover. I just want to kill him quickly because I I hate dealing with him. And we've cleared cyberspace. The internet porn is safe for another day. Unless Congress passes SOPA. Anyway. Weapon get. Aiming laser. Probably the most useless ability ever in in, in a, a 2D platform. Not, not even the X series, but just a 2D platformer. Uh, we'll show that off later. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.